We've watched Rob Duslier in good times. We've gone with him to the doctor and to the hospital when he grew alarmingly sick a few weeks ago. His story has captured the hearts of many of our viewers. Now, if you have a question or a comment for Rob, you have a chance to call in tonight. Rob is in our newsroom live to answer phone calls, and with him is the reporter who is generally behind the camera taping Rob's life, Ken Gullett. Ken? Carolyn, we are here in the newsroom. We're going to open up the phone line in a moment for questions, but first let's ask uh, Rob a few questions. Uh, first of all, one of the questions on everybody's mind, I get it all the time, is how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling very well. Um, probably haven't felt this good in a couple of months. Um, my energy level is a lot higher than it was in the last few weeks, and um, which enables me to get a lot of things done, so I've been feeling good. You scared a lot of people when you got sick and went on the 21-day uh, treatment plan, and that was pretty toxic medicine, but looks like it did, uh, did you pretty well. Yeah, I was one of the lucky, I think, 20% that doesn't get real sick from the, from the medication, so I was very thankful for that. So what have you been doing now that you feel better? Have you gotten off the couch? Uh, yeah, definitely off the couch. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen the couch for a while. Um, been real busy with De La Serta House and with uh, education uh, through the AIDS, AIDS project. Now, one of the important questions I get is, how is the dog? <laughs> but he's doing just fine. He's uh, um, done growing finally and about through his puppy stage, so hopefully anyway. But he's doing good. Well, the phone line is open. Uh, here's the number. Put it on the screen. If you want to talk to Rob, 786 5315 here in the newsroom. Rob will take your calls. You can hear the phone ringing in the background already. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, Rob will answer some of the questions that people call in in the next few minutes. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Ken Gullett, WHBF News 4. Sounds great, Ken. We'll check in with you in just a little bit. Well, usually at this time on Thursday night, we bring you Rob's life. Well, tonight, Rob is answering phone calls from viewers in our newsroom. Ken Gullett is with Rob to tell us what people have been asking. Ken? Uh, let's go to the questions then. Rob is here. He's been fielding a lot of phone calls in the last few minutes. Uh, one of the good questions you received was about AIDS testing. Um, lady called and wanted to know uh, where you got tested and how long after you put yourself at risk, how long you should wait before you're tested. Um, there's several different places in the area to be tested. Your best bet is to call the AIDS Project. And they'll let you know uh, what times and days that you can be tested. The other thing is after you put yourself at risk, you need to wait four to six weeks before your body w will convert itself to show a positive test. Um, she was also curious about the uh, false testing and false negatives and false positives. Um, now, if after six months, uh, if someone thinks they've been infected, they should be tested uh, again at six months. Um, nine, uh, I believe it's 98% of the people that are going to be HIV positive will be by six months. The next one, uh, the importance of education uh, in dealing with uh, people and, and how not to get the disease. Um, I think it's the most important part of what the AIDS Project does and probably one of the most important things that I do. Um, I don't believe that anytime soon, if ever, there'll be a cure for AIDS. So our only cure, per se, is going to be education. If people know how to not put themselves at risk is probably the most important thing we do. There are a lot of people who are still against that, aren't there? There's a lot of people that are that are still against it, and um, I don't understand that. Why, you know, we teach our kids to wear seat belts, we teach our kids to wear helmets when they ride their bike, but we won't spend, you know, 10 minutes and 50 cents telling them about, about condoms and, and about abstinence. One person called and asked if you were afraid to go out of the house. Uh, yeah, she was concerned about with winter coming up, you know, I'm afraid of catching a cold and this kind of thing. Um, I try not to think about it, you know, there's always that risk, um, but the last thing I want to do is sit at home and worry about catching a cold, um, so I don't worry about it a whole lot. We don't have a lot of time left, but you did get a couple of calls about the card you got from Clinton. Yeah, I got, um, it kind of surprised me, I got three or four people that called just to comment that they totally disagreed with the person that wrote the card from Clinton, um, and also got several positive calls. Um, and. One of the ladies asked that called asked me, you know, how do I react to people or to comments like that? And my thing is, is, is it's their opinion. Everybody should be able to speak their opinion. Uh, if I tell them that, you know, they shouldn't be able to say things like that, then I shouldn't be able to go out and do education. So everybody has their own opinion. I, I just don't let it bother me. All right, let's put the phone number up for the AIDS Project. If you have questions about AIDS, if you can help the AIDS Project, you can help as a volunteer, you can help with money. Uh, just call if you have other questions. Uh, thank you, Rob, for joining us. Certainly. And we'll see you on TV next week. Okay. okay. Live from the newsroom, I'm Ken Gullett, WHBF News 4.